this is Cody, and in this video, I'm going to be doing a review of this cat tree from Armar Cat. I don't know if that's how you say it, but there's their website, and while my cat's on it. <laughs> but let's get started with how to set it up. So the setup is really easy. It comes in a big box, and you basically just have to take it out of the box and put it together. So let's see putting it together. Okay, the setup took about 30 minutes um, in real time, a little less I think, um, and I sped that up for you, but it went together really fast in my opinion, and it comes with all the tools you need to build it, because it comes with an Allen wrench for this, and it also comes with a wrench for that, for um, the some of the nuts. It's, there's Underneath here, there's nuts that you have to tighten. It comes with a wrench for that. So the setup was fast, easy, and you don't need any extra tools. So that's always a plus. So now let's move on to the features of this. Okay, so some of the features are it's very stable. It doesn't move around much. You can see that with... Um, with the footage of the cats on it. Um, I'm going to put that up in the video. And then it has a, two ladders, which go for, one of them goes up to the first hut, and then this one goes up to the third floor. So it has the base floor here. Oh, and the carpet's really smooth, by the way. It's probably some of the smoothest carpet I've ever felt. And then it has this sisal scratching post, if that's how you say it. And they really like that. It's, they scratch on it a lot. And then there's the one hut. It's big and it has two doors and one window. And then there's two balls on it. One here. And they're elastic. And then here's another. It comes with three. And there's two like this. And then there's one like this. And there's hooks for them. And then it has a platform here, which is quite strong. They've jumped from like up top onto it, and it hasn't broken, so that's good. And um, then up here, there's a floor with one hut with two doors. And they that seems to be their favorite hut. They never really go on that one much. But And then there's three little perches up here, which are probably their favorite spots. I have two cats that like to play on it. There's one there and one here. And then there's one way up top there at about probably that's a, a little over six foot high. Um, is this is a 74 inch model. And then there's, uh, and each one of them has the scratching post on it. And one other good feature is right here. There's, you can basically, the cats can climb straight up to the top and pull themselves over because some of the cats like to do that. Because that kind of makes it like a tree. So now let's get on to um, the cleaning of it. Okay, so you will need to clean it every so often to get all the cat's fur off it if they won't like that, if possibly. So you can use a vacuum on it, but what I've just been doing is this is the spot where most of their fur collects, just in the corners. And I just run my finger along. I've actually just cleaned it recently, and you get their fur as you can see, and um, other like fur from this, and I just do that on everything, and it seems to work pretty good, but I do recommend using a vacuum on every so often, that would probably help, so it's quite simple to clean. Okay, now let's talk about durability, it's very strong, they don't make it really move that much at all, and um, 
It's actually supposed to be up against like a wall here, but it's not. And you can see in the footage of the cats that it moves around a little, but not too much. And I'm sure if you put it up against the wall, it won't. And it definitely isn't going to tip over because uh, one of my cats here is 15 pounds and the other one is 10 pounds. And they shake it a little, but it's not too bad. And they scratch the post quite a bit. Because I've had this for, I don't know, like around four months or so. And they scratch the post. But the good thing is, most of these are interchangeable. So you can interchange them for different ones. And if they only scratch on certain ones. And you can turn them and swap them around and everything. So that's nice. So I wouldn't be worried about it wearing out. And they still like scratch on the torn up bits. And yeah, it's really durable. Okay, so now let's talk about pricing. This cat tree, it's a 74-inch version of it, which is quite tall. And it costs, at Amazon, which is where I got it, and I recommend you get it, it costs um, 30, 135 bucks right now. I got it for 115 and it wasn't like on sale, so the price does fluctuate, so you could probably find a good price on it. Um, I do recommend getting it from, like, the actual seller instead of, like, an off-seller because those charge like fifty dollars shipping and if you get it from like the like that one that has free super saver shipping and this is over twenty five bucks so you'll get free shipping on this and it's definitely worth it because you can save a lot of money that way and I'm sure it would cost a lot more in in like cat stores and stuff but it's good to get it on Amazon so yeah that's the pricing of it and now um that's going to be about the end of the video, so I'm going to finish it here. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of me and videos like this in the future, subscribe to my YouTube channel right up there. Isn't that right, Blackie Cat?